Out here at Piney Grove, we have a lot of trees and we often find ourselves doing work with our tractor without our chainsaw. So we reached out to Robert at Zook's Weldon and asked him if he had a chainsaw holder. And he said he was fabricating a new one and it would be ready for 2023. So he sent us one and here it is right here. This is his new version of his chainsaw holder. This looks like a real easy install. It goes right here on the tractor and installs with two bolts that he includes. So first of all, what's in the box? Of course, you get the chainsaw holder, you get the bracket that holds it on or the back plate, you get two bolts, two jam nuts, and a washer. And those are my wrenches, but you'll need two 9 16 wrenches or a ratchet to install this chainsaw holder. Robert included this real nice card in the package, but we'll also link his website below and you can get a discount if you use the code USA5. And look at it from the front, you can see the bolt heads, you can see Robert put his trademark in there with Zook's welding. And that's what the front face looks like. We'll turn it on its side. You can see its side construction with the bracket that's adjustable that mounts to the tractor. You can also see how the layers of the material are sandwiched in there to protect your chainsaw. And these phenolics right here, these white plastic pieces, that's what'll go against your actual sharp teeth of your chainsaw. So it'll keep those from getting dull. And of course, if your bar is too long, it can stick out the bottom. So now for the install, it goes right here on your loader vertical and where your loader is actually in like this V shape or I guess this inverted V shape right here, this hangs. And what Robert told me, cause I told him that I take my loader off a lot. I said, I, I need to be able to get to these pins. And he said, once you hang it, this thing will be able to go left or right. I guess it'll be able to go that way so that you can get in there and get those pins. So once we get it mounted, we'll see how easy it swings so we can get to these loader removal pins. So I put the bolts on the inside, two closest holes together. I think that's the way I want it. I could have went to these outside holes or any combination of these holes. Where you put the bolts is gonna determine how high this will ride up on your loader. And your loader, at least on this Kubota, is narrower at the top than the bottom. And because of that, it'll, it'll hold it in place wherever you put this, these bolts. I got that, that side in, that side in, and that should hold it. I think that's a nice height right there. So we will put the washers and the lock nuts on now. So this is a Kubota L series and the top of our loader bracket is three and three quarter inches wide, but you can see by the threads on the bolt that it will accommodate up to probably four and three quarter wide loader mount. And then going this way, these bolts are at seven inches. And if I go to the other bolt holes, they are at nine inches. So those are the dimensions that this bracket will accommodate besides just the Kubota L series. Now it's staying there by itself nicely. I just put on the two washers and then the two jam nuts. I assume the washers go on this side. That makes sense to me, but I guess they could also go under the bolt heads, but that'll keep from marring the finish on that black. And then two 9 16 wrench, I'm gonna use a ratchet wrench. Could easily use a socket here. In fact, a socket would probably be better. And I'm not gonna tighten these all the way. These are nylon locking nuts, so they're gonna stay wherever you put them. If I left it like that, it would stay there. It won't vibrate loose. So I'm gonna barely get this snug so I can move it when I need to, when I remove my loader. So that's barely closing up that washer. I'll do the same thing over here on this side. So they're a little snug, but you can still move this up and down. And that's what Robert said you need to do in order to remove the pins on this loader. From this angle, you can see how well built this chainsaw holder is. You've got two thick pieces of plastic right there. And then there's also metal on the outside that sandwiches that plastic. And then holding that apart is a piece of plastic or phenolic right there with some welded or pressed in nut plates and a bolt that holds all that together. Where the chainsaw actually fits into the holder, we have a piece of metal here instead of the ends of the plastic. I don't think that install took more than a minute. Now is the moment of truth. We got a steel chainsaw here with an 18 inch bar. We'll put that right in the chainsaw holder. The saw itself can wiggle around a little bit, but the holder itself is very stable. The bucking teeth are on this side and that looks real good. Looks like gravity's gonna hold that in nicely. Now I'm gonna go just do a short trip with the tractor and see how it works with the tractor moving. So as I said on the seat of the tractor, I was kind of worried about visibility with the chainsaw being here, but it is out in a way. 
I can see my tires well. It really doesn't interfere with anything. But I'm gonna take a little trip around the pasture here and just see how stable it is when I'm driving. That was just a short run across the pasture, but I did run into some potholes and stuff out there. So I saw the tractor moving, but the bracket didn't move a little bit and the chainsaw really didn't move that much within the bracket. So all in all, it looks like it is a great tool, a great modification to your tractor. We'll put Robert's information down below for Zook's Welding. We'll show his website and also use the code USA5 to save 5% on his products. Look around his catalog there on his website. He makes a lot of things for Kubota tractors. He's also in general a fabricator. So contact him if you don't have a need for this exact product, he might be able to make something for you. But that's gonna do it for today's video. We appreciate you watching. And as always, remember, life's short, tractor hard. Take care, y'all.